as uh, looking at the sky and looking at galaxies and nebulae and so forth uh, had that, that kind of effect on you personally? Well, there's something about astronomy that's very healthy. I think that my impression, maybe it's wrong, but my subjective impression is that astronomers <laughs> live longer than the average. Uh, uh, is that empirical? No, <laughs> no, I say it's empirical. just a subjective <laughs> impression. Right. But there's just something deeply satisfying about the the bigger picture. If when you know if I close down my little observatory toward dawn and I'm walking back to the house, having spent the night looking at these spectacles far away, I it's, I'm just incredibly happy, and mm -hmm. for for reasons mm -hmm. that it's hard to put into words, and I think that's kind of the point. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. everyone should have experiences that uh, exceed the size of their uh, their existing containers, of which language is one. Mm -hmm. And the and science constantly is capable of constantly providing you with these uh, expansive visions that take you beyond mm -hmm. not only yourself, but <clears throat> beyond limitations that you previously, uh, uh -huh. by which you were previously constrained. I think that's, that's been healthy for me, it's healthy for uh -huh. everybody who's... Uh -huh who's exposed to it. It used to be, uh, when I was a kid and I was taking a telescope out, some of the other students would, you know, make fun of it. They would call it like bird watching, you know, are you going bird watching again? <laughs> it seemed to them like a, a little thing. But of course neither bird watching nor astronomy is a, a little thing at all. What was little was their conception of what was going on and yes. hopefully they were able yeah. to expand that conception mm -hmm in one way or another through art. It doesn't really matter how you do it as long as you do it, but if you don't, then you're locked up forever within a, a little jail of your own fashion. Mm -hmm. how, how does that, or how is that reflected in your work, and then how, maybe a specific example or so of, of how you see it actually happening sure. out there? Well, astronomy is a great uh, unifier of people because it uh, it has historically demonstrated to us that we're all on this one planet uh, uh, that's part of a much larger system. And science generally has also unified people in very concrete ways. Uh, it was only a century or two ago that uh, the standard position in humanity was to imagine that one's own people or one's own race, as they used to say, was superior to the others, um, and that uh, one's own civilization was the only real civilization. And it was science and technology that broke all that down. Science under showed that the underpinnings of racism and sexism and these other prejudices was not empirically justified. And the technology of travel took people around the world, as it's still doing today, and exposed people to one another's culture and demonstrated which aspects of it were universal and which were more particular and interesting in themselves. So that the, the great, greatest unification of the human species has occurred in the last 300 years, and it's, it's owed primarily to science and, and to uh, technology. Um, wondering what you would like to say that uh, specifically to that that gathering of people who've been uh, certainly active in in making the initially the hands-on universe and the students getting their hands on the universe out into European countries, European Union, Africa, China, Japan, India, and so forth. Uh, what would you like to say to them? Throughout uh, history and just about every culture that the anthropologists have studied, people have found it very important to have an accurate or at least an evocative picture of what the universe is like. Every culture has its own cosmology. And now within the past few centuries, uh, we humans have finally discovered a method, and we call it science, by which we can construct a model of the universe that's not only evocative, but is also accurate. Getting the word of that to people, and particularly younger people around the world, is a noble calling. And that's why I'm happy to have this opportunity to address you folks working in hands-on universe and to uh, 
congratulate you on all the, the great work you've been doing and to uh, wish you uh, even wider and better horizons in the years to come.